So far, I've got about two hundred dollars worth of parking tickets in Manhattan because of the unjust Eric Adams administration targeting me because I've been critical of him. Um, but let's see. There, this is a great video of somebody getting pulled over. We don't see enough of these. I am because the woke people are at the end. We know this; they know it. The people that have been uh, performatively woke for a very long time, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, all these P is Schumer's in the IDF now. Like everybody's. Everybody is moving in the direction of blatant, naked self-interest. I've called, and but that this is what's happening. I called that uh, years ago. All woke is is a patina. It's it's basically going. No, this is about everyone else. That's all woke is. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. It's actually about everyone else, but it's not. It's about you. It was a great way to elevate mediocre people in the arts. These overeducated degree holders from liberal arts schools that owed a shitload of money in student loans and had nowhere to work. They bullied their way into these diversity coordinator bullshit positions, sensitivity readers, HR departments inflated with all these things. That's what it was. It was always disguising self-interest with altruism. No, it's for the collective. It's for the better. But now it's become a cartoon, and we've seen it, and it's actually funny. I actually like them now. The people that are still holding on to this wokeness are actually becoming fun because they are the ones that are not too good. They're not great at hiding what they want out of it. This woman, who looks whiter than me, by the way, <laughs> is pulled over here. In, do we know what country this is? This is the United States, yeah. So this is the United States of America, and the cops are really on their best behavior here. Mm -hmm. The United States of America, do we know what state? Uh, I believe somewhere in the Midwest. So in the Midwest, which we're, we're, we're told is just, it's a skeet shoot <laughs> where they just kill everyone, these cops. Yeah. Somewhere in the Midwest, you see this woman being pulled over, and she starts talking, and it is so funny. Roll this tape. What's going on? Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. And okay. I just got changed around. Okay. Do you understand what's going on though? Yes. You're going into oncoming yes. traffic. I know. And I just decided that it was better just to turn around really fast. So, okay. But I'm sorry. I just have like really bad social anxiety and yeah, stuff. Stop this for a second. I've driven drunk a lot. The nightmare, <laughs> the nightmare, and I really, I've never got pulled over. I got pulled over high a few times, but it's hard for them to prove. Mm -hmm. um, the nightmare is the first thing she said, I got changed around. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, there's nothing worse than the first thing you say, they know. Because mm -hmm. now you know you're getting the test. Yeah. You know when you say something dumb like that, it's going to end with the test. <laughs> there's no, like, you have a split second to convince them like, literally, when I get pulled over now, I'm like, listen, I'm not sober. I, I, I go, I'm sober. You could look at my Wikipedia. I'm a comedian. I know it's late. I'm coming from somewhere else. I was going 113 miles an hour, which I thought was the speed limit. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm going uh, that is because I have probably, and not to be, you know, a dick about it, sir, but I have maybe the most impressive sedan in the country <laughs> at the moment. It seems weird to drive at 76 miles an hour. I'm 36. I haven't treated my body great. I don't know how long I'll be here. So I'm enjoying the times as we have them. And frankly, uh, it would be great to get just, you know, you know, have a Mack truck slam into me and everything. Because at the end of the day, it's a real clean way to make an exit. So I'm not sober. There's not much you can get me on. You can write me a speeding ticket. I'm sure you will. I'm not going to go that much slower, though. It doesn't seem fair. Uh, but this woman, uh, again, once you say I changed around, it's all over. Keep going here. I don't want to step out whenever you're asking for stuff. Okay. Well, we're past that. So just go ahead and step out. As an indigenous person. And... <laughs> right back here, please. Miss Perry? Am I... Well, I'm non-binary, so. Okay. <laughs> what do you go by? Kai. How can Kai. I refer to you tonight? It's Kai? Kai. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Like, probably three drinks. I need to run you through some tests right now. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and me both. Like she's at a party. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any recent head trauma? 
traumatic brain injuries, anything I need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> Focus on my finger, please. I am. You're just like trying to intimidate me. I don't know how I'm trying to do that. This is the test. As you know, as an indigenous person and there's a bunch of sh going around, I'm sorry, but it's just for me to be on my toes. I get you. Can you remember that I told you that I'm non-binary? Yeah, I'll try my hardest. I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or a turn tonight. Mental health. Um, any physical injuries? Mental, yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying. Okay. Mental, PTSD, depression, anxiety. I get you. What else you want? Now with your right foot, place it in front of your left in a heel-to-toe touching manner with your by arms way, by your side, just like this, man. You know what I've noticed? This is a new thing. People just say they have PTSD now and mm -hmm. no one has to prove where it came from. <laughs> right. Like, people just say that now. Like, that was reserved for veterans of foreign wars. <laughs> yeah. Like, I understand anxiety and depression, and whatever, but people just say, I have post-traumatic stress disorder. That, when I was growing up and up until recently, was reserved for people who had been in, like, a crazy situation like like you were held at gunpoint or something and you had PTSD because of that people say they have PTSD now they don't even trace it to an event they don't even like talk about what it somebody should have a killer story mm -hmm. if they have PTSD somebody should be like I have PTSD and you just go really and they go yeah I was on a cruise it was the whole Captain Phillips thing they can't, the Somali pirates came on, guns to the head. Then you go, oh, I get it. But somebody, people just go, I have PTSD now and don't specify. Doesn't it have to be linked to an event? I'm pretty sure it did. Mm -hmm. Like if, if somebody goes, I'm from Gaza, I have PTSD, I'd go, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. But someone whose name is like Miss Perry, who's driving drunk through the cornfields of our heartland, <laughs> just goes, I have PTSD. I mean, you know. And, 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 you know, I would ask her if I was a cop, I'd go, oh, that's tough. You serve or <laughs> what is it from, you know? Keep going. Can you not call me ma'am, please? I'm trying my hardest. Okay, well. Okay. It means a lot to me. I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel like a man, so. Okay. It's kind of triggering. Right foot in front of your left. Nope, go back. I'm sorry, but the whole man thing, just like. I apologize. It's good. She's, Let's she's see if going we can hard. Move from it. She's you going have zero hard. Zero questions. No, but I just want to tell you that I suffer from really bad anxiety, especially right. uh, with generational trauma and PTSD around white people. And yeah, PTSD, hot. generational trauma. What happened to offering to suck people off? <laughs> no, I mean truly, like, what happened to just going like, can I suck your cock? <laughs> Like, instead of, it's got to work more often than this shit. Mm -hmm. It's got to work more often than this shit. <laughs> it's got to, more than generational trauma, just go, can I suck your, officer, <laughs> can we turn this camera off? Can I just go in the back and suck you off? <laughs> When's the last time you, you've really had a good blow? I mean, a good blow job. I mean, I don't come up until you're done blow job. Like, I, that's got to work more than this shit. <laughs> generational trauma. But this is the problem now. We have told women, we've lied to women so much in this country. We have told them to, to be girl bosses instead of raise families. And we've also told them when a cop pulls them over, they shouldn't immediately think about offering to suck their cock. Because that really is a much better thing. I would, I would offer to suck more cops off if I thought it would help. I don't think in my case it would.